New at 6, doctors at Children's Hospital are calling it one of the most violent cases of child abuse they have ever seen. And now, a shocking twist in the case, as police and Shaler charge the mother of an injured newborn. Megan Schiller first broke this news back in September. That is when police charged the baby's father. Megan joins us now live with what has changed. Megan. Shaler police just filed these charges against the 33 year old mother, Katie Easley. And right now, detectives are accusing the mother of knowing about her infant's injuries and not doing anything for days up until the baby reportedly stopped eating. New charges filed Thursday by Shaler police accuse Katie Easley of failing to take her four and a half week old newborn to doctors, despite all of her alleged injuries. The new chilling document says doctors at Children's Hospital reported that, quote, given the age of the victim, it was one of the most violent cases of child abuse they have seen, with the bone in her arm snapped in half and the worst rib fractures they have seen. KDK News first broke this story when detectives charged the infant's father, Jamie Easley, in September of this year. Detectives say the father admitted to grabbing, squeezing, and giving a quick shake to the victim at their Shaler home on September 9th. He also insisted the couple's toddler pushed the infant off the bed onto the wood floor. Detectives say Katie Easley brought the infant to the doctor two days later on September 11th, saying the baby wouldn't take a bottle and had heavy, rapid breathing. But detectives later searched her phone and allegedly found Google searches from earlier in the month, Googling, quote, bruising on baby and, quote, why isn't my baby eating? Investigators examined the baby and found a total of 19 rib fractures, two leg fractures, bleeding in the brain, a collapsed right lung, liver lacerations, and bruising on the head, face, stomach, and thigh. Detectives charged Katie Thursday, saying she failed to get help for her critically injured 31-day-old baby. I just got off the phone with the chief of police in Shaler, and I asked him if this at all changes the charges that the father is currently facing. He said at this time, no, that father is still facing aggravated assault charges as well as a couple other charges, and they have not changed yet. Now, he is set to go before the judge in early January, so we, of course, will keep you posted if his charges change. Reporting live tonight, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.